I'm Ilham Kadri, I'm the CEO of Science Co. We are explorers, uh, inventing and creating breakthrough technologies at the service of humanity. That's what we do. And I represent here the chemical industry, is the mother of all industry. Virtually, we serve everything you do, what you eat, what you wear, what you drive, right? And that's why we need the new ways of doing chemistry, of doing science. It's a specialty material company at the service of light weighing, electrification, connectivity like semiconductors, biotechnology, resources efficiency, and we serve basically all the sectors you can think about. So clearly you see climate change as a financial opportunity. Absolutely. Climate change obviously um, is a risk, is a risk to our operations, but it's a huge opportunity. It's a huge opportunity to first of all reimagine who we are. For example, uh, at Science Co, we're reimagining our chemistry by embedding circularity by design. <laughs> 30 years ago as a chemist, I was innovating, producing, and throwing in the bin, <laughs> doing some life cycle analysis once a while. Now we are thinking about second life of a product, third life, you know, how we can bring that circularity in our products. So yeah, electrification, light weighing, we make any object lighter. If it's mobile, it's consume less fuels. It emits less CO2. It's synonymous to sustainability. So we make a car lighter. When you take your plane and everything non-metallic is us, we make it lighter and we can cut up to 25% of greenhouse gas emissions uh, in a flight between Paris and New York. So that's amazing. That's how science and material science can actually support you know, the sustainability agenda while bringing a lower total cost of ownership. It means also profitability. Talk to us a little bit about nuclear. Where are you looking at this? Do you think it will go smoothly? Yeah, it's debatable, it's controversial. Look, we look at it as a clean energy, right? At the service of some sites where, again, there is, there is not enough continuously uh, renewable you know, energy available. Some sites are blessed with wind, others with hydropower, others with sun. We need energy to run our plants, right? Without energy, there is no chemistry. And without chemistry, there is nothing. There is no industry. The challenge and the opportunity is to find cleaner energy sources at affordable prices. So for example, our company now is sponsoring the tour of the world with green hydrogen. So Bertrand Picard and his uh, co-pilot, um, Raphael Dilelli, we are building a uh, an aircraft with them, uh, with our composite material as light as it can be, uh, with two reservoirs, with green hydrogen at minus 250 degrees C, and making the world tour in nine days without stop. Can you imagine the day, and it will be in 2027, will show that with green hydrogen, with zero emission, zero stop, you can do the world tour, right? Now, green hydrogen is the next Next oil, next vehicle for energy. Its cost is still high, for example, in Europe. But we know that through science, through innovation, the cost curve is going to go down. So we are working on these solutions. We implemented global carbon pricing inside the company. Twice of the European carbon pricing since 2019. When you do something strategically and you know it needs time, because sustainability is not something you build overnight, you need to be consistent, right? Um, you have really to bring it to your compensation system. So what we've done is uh, we've changed the short-term incentive up to now 15%, one five. It's, uh, it's linked to sustainability goals on a yearly basis. And then the long-term incentive is 20% is linked to greenhouse gas emission reduction, right? That's a long-term incentive for people, for retention purposes. And then for our blue collars, they have a global profit sharing, you know, which is a sort of variable pay for our blue collars and our uh, community around the world. And more than 40% in the company, in our company, are blue collars. And 15% of that glo global profit sharing is linked to sustainability goals at their site level, right? Really on things they can control. And it's amazing now. We have, uh, we have 62 sites around the world, and now we have 62 roadmaps around the world, right? We take our money here, we put it there, but it's allowed us to train the muscle. It's allowed us to train our business 
presidents and leaders to make them their agenda, not a headquarter agenda or CEO agenda. Everybody should be a chief sustainability officer and a chief profitability officer in the company. What advice do you have for other CEOs who may want to sell that concept to the board? I will repeat what's happened with my own board. At that time, they said twice, you know, European carbon pricing is maybe too much. I said, maybe, but let us just test it. By the way, it's internal to the company. You are not harming the company outside, right? And if it works, then, you know, success calls for success. Success is contagious. And that's what's happened inside our company. We started very small, step by step, walking before running. Then we realized in 2019 that we could cut the emission twi twice Paris, a course requirements. And then we realized, gosh, we cannot just do well below the two degrees C. We can go to one and a half. Then we said, yeah, let's dream big. But we start dreaming big dreams which were scaring us, <laughs> right? Because they, are too big. they were too big, but we could make them happen. And then, you know, um, yeah, I mean, for example, now we are the largest solar farmer in the United States of America. What does that look like? So it looks like 700 soccer fields European soccer, right? In South Carolina, powering renewable green energy to our business unit in the United States of America. Can you believe it? And by the way, our customers love it. Many in the electronic segments, for example, semiconductors, they love to have a green, 100% renewable powered product supplied to them. We had the dream of becoming neutral by 2050. We knew you know, one third of the roadmap, how to make it happen, two thirds was unknown to us. Now, five years down the road, or almost six years down the road, we know two thirds how to make it, and one third is still unknown. And by the way, at Science Co now, carbon neutrality will happen in 2040, and profits are there. So, so success calls success. It's like athletes, you know? When you train every day, guess what? You run faster. Ha, ha, ha.